Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. Guess what guys? It is day 12 of Poet Spices, 12 days of Christmas cheer. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. <laughs> All right, final recap. I am joining Poet as well as an amazing list of crafters and card makers here on YouTube. All of their uh, channels will be linked down below um, with Poet Spices 12 Days of Christmas Cheer. The entire premise was to do something for the first 12 days of December that was either Christmas or December holiday themed. I chose to color out of this Moments Holy for Yourself by Opal, otherwise known as forest girls number three i divided this into 12 sections and i have been using my 12 brand of pencils all right everyone's caught up we are in our final box which is this one right here uh, as i mentioned just a second ago i am testing out pencils and so the very last brand of pencil that i have is my brought funner squares so we're going to put a number 12 just right there and so we're going to need greens, reds, a black for her hair. We'll need some oranges and yellows and browns for the floor, the ladder. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of colors on this desk. <laughs> the Brut Funners are one of my favorite pencils, if not my favorite pencils. Now with that said, I don't actually know um, how they work in here. So that will that will definitely be a, a good test on how they work and how they blend. And we'll need some greens. As you can see by the color order, I'm not, I don't actually really care um, if they're all in light to dark or dark to light. I just need them to be in sort of a, a color family. Oh yeah, definitely a lot of pencils. And I don't know what I'm going to need. So we'll take these for now. Yeah, because I don't know what her outfit's going to be. And we'll go from there. So as you guys know, I like to color wash things. So let's do the wall, the ladder, and the floor in this golden color. Okay, I like the color and I like the feel. That's awesome. And just so that I can visually define what it is that I'm looking at, sort of, because there's still a bunch of elements within this here. So that's tree, and that's her. Okay, so let's do the tree in the same way. just to map it out on the page. Oh, there's a little bit of skin tone. So I'll need to get a pencil for that. Okay, what's going on down here? 
I think it's more of the wall and that window thing. Well, no, that's too far over. But it definitely looks like more of the wall. And the tree is right here. Okay, so that maps that out. We'll put some gray on the furnace. some cream on her hands for now. It's such a small space. I don't know that I'll need more than that. And make her hair. Actually, let's put brown because we can always go darker with the black. Just so we can define what it is. I don't want her jumper green. That's what it is here. So that one, we'll make it orange for now. And I think we'll actually make it red so we can use this orange as the highlight or contrast color. And then her skirt. I think her skirt we can do black. And we're definitely going to come in and make these darker. It's just, there is a lot going on here. And I wanna make sure I catch everything. Cause this is going to be the very last video we do in this series. <laughs> and I mean, I, it's kind of sad cause you know, we've been hanging out the last 12 days, but uh, I didn't get a chance to before I started, but if there's 11 videos and they're all between 20 and 35 minutes, so two videos would be like 45 minutes to an hour. So we're looking at like six hours worth of work on here. And then when you add in the editing, yeah, it's probably the page I've spent the longest on. And I think it's it's a combination of, I've been talking through the video, so that definitely makes the process a little longer, but then I've been trying, sort of, to color match, and that's not something I would generally do in one of these tester pages because I wouldn't have something like this. I'd have distinct elements that may not necessarily be touching. So that also, brought in a level of excitement. Can we call that excitement? Oh, see, I thought that would have been a dark brown, but that isn't. Yep, pulled more pencils. That one that I thought was brown, that wasn't. It's a lot more vibrant <laughs> than I thought. Oh, can I scrape some of that away? Yeah, I guess I can. Did I ruin the tooth? Uh, I think I did. <laughs> Okay, 
so let's start making things make sense. Yeah, these feel really nice on the page. They're that perfect combination of waxy like a prisma, but they're hard like a luminance. In fact, I think they feel, they feel even better than my luminance do in my hand on this paper. Let's burnish that down. Yeah, that actually looks like a good color match. I think this could use some gold. Yeah, that definitely help, but we could use something more chocolatier. Maybe too chocolatey. <laughs> All right, well that we're gonna consider done. While I have this one in my hand, let's figure out what's what. Back here. And I think it could use some more gold. That's my mom's cat. She's not happy with life today. She's fine. She's just not happy with life. He's looking good. Okay, so. I think that actually looks bad. I think that needs a little bit more red tone. And 
this right here is actually the knob or the handle for the furnace. So I'll make that black. Is that a package? Yeah, that looks to be a present. Oh, it's that one right there. Let's let's color it. Because I wasn't sure if it was part of the planking right there. Okay. And we need to make this more orange. Like the, well, that's the, <laughs> we actually don't have any of this baseboard over here. So, I really like this color. Okay, I think we can go more golden here. Oh, yeah. In fact, I don't think we need to do anything else with the walls. I think they look good. Well, there is a little bit by way of green. I think that's enough. Let's work on the furnace. We're gonna do that same thing where we're gonna leave an edging. And we're gonna follow the highlights here. to go once across this way. I'm still only using about medium pressure, but then the next pass I'll do, I'll do a heavier pressure. But this way we can take advantage of as much of the tooth of the paper, which isn't much as we can. All right, so now pressing harder. Because we want it at least as intense as it is down here, if possible. We're definitely losing some of the crispness of the image, but that's okay. Again, I could come in after the fact and clean up with some fine liners or mild line, well, not mild liners, um, this, but I don't think we're gonna do that. It's not something I would normally do unless it's one of these characters. And even then, I don't always do it. It's more of the sum of the whole for me than focusing on anything in particular. That was just a little too light. So I'm just coming in with this. This piping or the Gasket, rivet. It's 
how these two pieces are seamed together. I'm going to do that really dark. And then this will do really dark as well. And just to make the two pieces seamless. This one we put a little bit of yellow. I think that looks good. Let's just play around with these. Sorry for the noise outside. I don't have any other time to film today. So we're just going to power through. Okay, that works. So. And we'll come in as I mentioned in for you what was yesterday's video it's still Tuesday I still haven't eaten dinner my stomach is really beginning to bother me <laughs> and there's a bunch of noise outside but we shall endeavor because we are in the home stretch and I can feel it. Okay, we definitely need a more vibrant green. And yeah, my hands hurt. I think it's just a combination of coloring back to back like this. I need something more ashy. I don't know if I'm gonna grab that. <laughs> if it seems like I'm kind of done, I, I guys, I kind of am. This has been a project and a half. And while the challenge has of, of finishing a page, doing this collab and seeing what I could do with my pencils has pretty much sustained me during this because I know we are in the home stretch. It's sort of like how I deal with bugs and things. It just I just want it to be done with now. I just want this to be over. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna just call that done. I'm gonna come in with her.
is just about adding some texture and color to her now. Same with her skirt. Same with her hair. Now I did like how there were pockets of what seems to be uncolored spaces, but it looks a little better now when it's a little bit more colored in because of this side. Okay, so let's add a little scarf to him. Can add a little bit more definition to her skirt. Do we have everything? I think we have everything. <laughs> oh, go us. Oh, I really just kind of fizzled there at the end, guys, and I'm sorry. I told you, be prepared to be underwhelmed. But we are done. We are gonna call this done. 12 is my brat funners and i only have the square so i don't need to mark that down and i definitely give these a five my number one well no i'm gonna have tied for first place if i want something that's very soft very muted i'm definitely going to go for my erogitins but if i want something more vibrant i would definitely go for something like my brat funners I can switch the page flag now. Any of my completed pages I put in purple. And yeah, when you guys see this in my December completed pages, I'll actually um, add up all of the time of the actual video run times and then I'm going to double it because I do edit all of these videos and I'll get an approximation of how long this project has taken. That would include the actual coloring as well as the editing and all of the background stuff because I do have a YouTube channel. Alright guys, I would love to know what you guys think of this. Poet, thank you so much for this 12 day challenge. Next time I'm hoping you do like a three-day challenge that definitely seems easier <laughs> that's it for me for now and as always aloha